Hello, fifth grade. We're on domain five, lesson 11, making inferences, women in the Renaissance. Our objectives are to describe the relationship between the cultural norms set for women in the Renaissance and the ways women challenge those norms. We're going to use correlative conjunctions when writing or speaking. We're going to use the root serve as a clue to determine the meaning of words, and we're going to look at spelling words. Some key vocabulary for today's lesson are norms, customs, standards of accessible, acceptable behavior, fortunately, luckily, by good fortune, alliance, a formal agreement to work together, fashion is to make shape or form, and it's also a popular way of dressing during a particular time or among a particular group of people, obstacle, a challenge, something that blocks the way or makes it more difficult to do something else, prominent is important, well-known, easily seen, Reminiscent is similar to something else, and status symbol is something someone owns that shows he or she's wealthy or important. Okay, you're going to go ahead and read independently. Our word work for today is obstacle. Some women overcame the obstacles of their time and became re respected artists in their own right. An obstacle is a challenge, something that makes it more difficult to do something else, and it is a noun. So a correlative conjunction is what we're going to be talking about today. It's a set of words that go together. They, are, um, they work together in pairs to relate. So for example, is either and or neither nor, both and, not only, but also. Those are pairs of words that correlate with each other. So after dinner, we can either play a board game or watch a movie. Notice how they're both in that sentence and they kind of um, correlate with each other. They connect. The baby could neither crawl nor walk yet. Both Lou and Nader are absent today. And Abeni is not only smart, but also kind. So these are conjunctions that correlate with each other. They go hand in hand in a sentence. So a correlative conjunction, either and or, show an alternative, meaning you can choose between these things. So either or. Neither is the same thing. It's also an alternative, but it's things that cannot happen. Both and are adding things together, adding two subjects, and the same thing goes for, on, 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 sorry, not only and but. Okay, we're going to talk about the root word serve. So remember, prefixes are added to the beginning of a root word and suffixes are added to the end. And sometimes we have a Latin root word that it, um, that is what it's added to, or sorry, that is a prefix and a suffix is added to. So what we're talking about is the root word serve, and it means to save, protect, and serve. So some examples are of it are preserve, serve, reserve, service, and servant. So we've added pieces to those words to change the meaning of them. We also have service, servant, reserved, and conserve. These are our spelling words. Remember, we're not specifically giving out a spelling um, test, but it's still really good to have these familiar. So we have apprentice, expert, democracy, tyranny, extraordinary, conventional, rivalry, harmony, stunning, and mundane. And that is the end of our lesson. We will see everyone next time.